Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's continue with our series of text user interface. In previous videos I have discussed all these points. In today's video we are going to run a complete simulation which will start from defining boundary condition, defining material, assigning material to respective zone. Then there will be a general file or there will be a function using a loop statement do loop define report condition and then at the end some commands will be there for post processing so let's see what it looks like here is a general file that we have developed in our all these videos so let's go through this one by one if you have followed all those videos so you can understand or you would know all these commands so first define velocity boundary condition you know that we had written these two commands to change the boundary condition of these two inlet main and inlet branch that we are using in our example. Then we had written this command to define a material. We are defining material and in this material we are defining water as a water density as a polynomial. So here you can see polynomial with three coefficient and these are three coefficient. Then after defining material we have to assign this material to its respective cell zone let me write and here is the command that we had used to assign this water to this cell zone then in my last video we had gone through this do loop and here we had if statement that i had removed but you can see that if statement in my last video so this portion of the video is defining three reports which will be named as inlet branch inlet main and outlet and we will be defining pressure on these three boundaries and then this portion of the uh, command it will initialize our solution and it will iterate for some iteration we can change iteration let's say 50 iteration whatever you would like and this last portion will create the velocity contour and pressure contour for velocity magnitude and total pressure so I haven't gone through this command but if you have followed my video so you know that how we can write a general file for any function. So we did for velocity, we did for material assigning material this one so you can do this by yourself and it would be your practice. So, so now let's run our simulation so let's copy this one and uh, okay before that let's change some parameter I mean it's up to you. So I am saying okay this one is not 5, this one is 3, this one is 6, these are our velocity, here we have temperature, this temperature is a 60 degree, here is the intensity, we are defining water, let's say we give it another name, water liquid. And uh, you can also change these names, I am okay let's call them just actually it doesn't matter, keep as it is and these are the names. So let's copy all these and go to our simulation. Before that let me show you in the material we have only air. So it will create over here the water and this water will be assigned to this fluid which is, is having air. We will check all these parameters. And then we are defining report. So here you can see there is no report definition. Here we don't have any contour and you will see here velocity and pressure contour. I have told you in my very first video you can read file through here a scheme you can go there alternatively you can just copy paste over here so here are all these commands so after copy pasting over here you will just hit enter and that's it so let's wait and then we will see what all these commands have done this simulation is running quite fast and we will be done in a second. Okay, now let's check. So here you can see the water liquid have been created. It has a density of polynomial with three coefficients that we had over here. These are these three coefficients you can see. And uh, you can also check the boundary condition for example inlet branch we had set 0.6 here is uh, inlet branch 0.6 and temperature of 60 degree that we can verify temperature is 60 degree and similarly 
uh, inlet main 0.3 temperature of 25 degree that's perfect and if we go further here we didn't have any report definition now we have outlet inlet main and inlet branch it has created three reports area weighted average pressure that you can see over here we were creating surface report and we were creating total pressure that was surface area average and that we did in last video in pretty much detail you can check my previous video for the detail of this loop and uh, the last but not least here are two contour pressure contour and velocity contour so you can go and display which has created total pressure that is here our total pressure and similarly our velocity contour is here and that's the velocity contour so that's how you can use this uh, general file to automate your simulation and it can save a lot of time so you have written for example now i have written this file and i can change any of these parameter and i can run this simulation maybe a takeaway from here for example now i want to use this uh, file once again first two command will work now if i will go over here if i will try to do this one i will get an error let's try so here it did not run because it says water liquid already exists it means if you are defining some material that name should not exist before so that's why we are getting this error so you have to delete this one in water liquid you can delete from here or alternatively you can add one command over here before that i need to check uh, how you will write or how you will do but you can write a command for water okay yes that is also interesting let's try to delete this water before okay define boundary condition then we had change create change create ah sorry define material sorry one go define material and uh, change create and here you can also see delete so let's see delete and water liquid so it, ideally it should delete but it will not delete let's try and it cannot be deleted okay because the material still is in use by fluid so you can see the error is here the it is still in use so if we go over here and check it means the it is still in use by this one so it means to delete this one first we have to unassign this one over here and uh, for example let's try that you can delete yes so yes was here uh, that has been deleted but so to delete water liquid uh, you have to first remove from this fluid that you can do from here as well but uh, for that you can write a command here is the command that we want to unassign this one let's go back here fluid yes instead of water it should be here and so now we will it has uh, water liquid and now we are assigning this one is here and you can see now it has here and now we can delete this one so define material then uh, we had uh, delete and then water liquid now it has gone so what you can do to be on safe side what i do i always before defining a material whatever i am defining so either you should take care of the name or what i do normally i just uh, write this command always before i always uh, assign air to all the cell zone so that's why i never delete air from my fluid so what it will do 
if uh, this uh, fluid this fluid is have water as a material so it will assign air if it already has air so it will not make any difference so now if you will run again so it should run or uh, let's say now you can run this one easily let's copy paste and now if i say and now so it has created water and air so let me do it again so i have copy paste these three command oh sorry now we want to delete water so for that uh, you can write your command that was uh, delete and water liquid so now this one will assign this fluid by air and then it will remove water then it will create water so now it will run every time you don't need to bother about if water is already present or not that material so it will run always without any problem so you can see it had removed let me remove this one anyway that's how you can run your entire simulation you can make changes uh, in your this journal file and you can uh, run your simulation again and again and you don't need to spend a lot of time on your manual work that entire time could be saved and that's it for today and for this uh, entire course for text user interface i hope you found this uh, entire course helpful if you have any problem or any question you can write them in the comment below i will try to reply as soon as possible thank you for watching and see you in the next video